What's up guys, it's Andrew here. Welcome to my channel where I share tech tips and entertainment content. In this video, I share with you how to never lose your voice meter settings. All right guys, I'm gonna go over my settings with you, what I currently have right now for voice meter banana. I'm running virtual cable A and virtual cable B, which you can purchase from voice meter banana themselves. Uh, so the way I have it set up right now is I have my mic in the first slot. I use the second slot sometimes for voice over IP. Uh, this slot here I usually use for the browser uh, and different things happening in the browser, whether it's StreamYard or anything like that. So I'll use that. Uh, this section here will be the gaming uh, input, the virtual input here for the gaming. This one here I don't use as often, but uh, I know it's definitely available uh, to me to use if I need to use that. All right. So the other thing I want to note is that uh, my limiters are set. So if you right click here and you input uh, the information that you want for your meters there, you can set your limiters. I've done that for all three virtual. Uh, all, I've done that for all three physical inputs, one, two, and three. And I've also done that for the two virtual inputs as well, where you can just right click here and set your limiter values there. Now, the other settings that I've done here as well, is to make sure that my first output is my mixer, my my mix amp for the Astro device. So I've done that. And then my second is the Astro A50 uh, for my second uh, input. So whether I wanna switch headsets, I'm able to do that on the fly. Also here, what you'll see is the EQ. I've set EQ for all of the, the master section here. So if I right click here, you can see my current EQ settings uh, for every single input that I have on the mixer. Last thing I want to show you guys is, of course, the recording options. If you right click here, you'll see the recording options right now. Right now, I currently have it set for bus, which is the post fader outputs. So typically when I'm recording a podcast, what I'll do is I'll use the post fader output instead of the pre fader inputs, just a personal preference right now. That's just the way I have it set up. Also, I have it, the file type for wave. I have the 4100 here, uh, 44100 here for the Hertz. And of course, 16 bits right here. So uh, these are my settings. These are how I have things currently set. It is subject to change, but right now in uh, the current uh, pandemic and year of uncertainty. These are my settings right now in November 2020. So now how do you save all this, right? So what you want to do is you want to go to menu up here and then go to save settings and you put it wherever you want to put it. And that's pretty much it. So once you save the settings in the event that you have some challenges with, let's say Windows updates, because typically my challenges always come when I have uh, Windows updates. So sometimes I pause my updates for a very long time, unless there's a critical update that I need to do. Uh, so what you want to make sure is after you save the settings, uh, since you double check to make sure everything is right, um, always check if there's Windows updates that are uh, upcoming or things that you can uh, do for the updates. So once you make sure that you don't have any updates, um, your settings are always going to be intact for a very long time. Now, typically what happens uh, with the Windows updates that I've seen for myself is that when I go to Windows updates and I check the updates themselves, it's usually the updates that are related to X86 that give me the most challenges. So I typically delete those updates that are related to x86 and from there uh, my issues tend to go away so i'm just going to open that up real quick just to show you what i mean uh, so i use geek to look at most of my installations okay so i have the virtual cables here let's go up for a little bit more all right so as you can see here the only thing that i have in this particular section here are only x64 updates which I just keep those because that's what my machine is. Um, x86 updates, I usually delete unless there's a program that actually needs it. Outside of that, I always delete the x86 updates and then I reboot and usually that fixes my issue. Even if I have to reinstall Voice Me to Banana, I already know that I have my settings, uh, my, my settings saved, right? So we can just go back to that uh, one more time. So to do that, just hit menu and then save settings. And if 
in the event that you lose your settings go to menu and then load settings and then just find the settings that you already have saved and then just load those things and make sure everything is the same hey guys if you want more tech related videos i'll post some here and here and guys make sure you subscribe and i'll see you on the next video